Ultimate Act. Ooh, do we know what that means? What is Pen Ultimate auf Deutsch? <laughs> Whatever you guys just said. Are you ready? Please welcome to the stage the fantastic Miriam. Woo! Hi, my name is Miriam, and here are three things about me. I'm a mother of three, so I love chaos. <laughs> I'm a psychologist, so I love analyzing, and I hate stereotypes. <laughs> When people ask me about my professional background, I say, I'm a psychologist. People start to shudder. Ooh, have you analyzed me already? <laughs> no, not at all, keep calm but of course I already did. <laughs> Obsessive, compulsive, with extroverted tendencies. <laughs> By the way, I quickly analyzed all you here today. <laughs> you are all, <laughs> you're all very good and gentle persons with an exclusive sense of humor. <laughs> I love analyzing, I love analyzing my environment and myself. I have a very high intrinsic motivation to work for a better world. Honorable, right? <laughs> <laughs> But sounds also quite stereotypical for someone like me working in an international corporation. Or I have a high intrinsic motivation to be adored for being one of those do-gooders. <laughs> Or I have that girlish dream of being a fairy. If I was a fairy, I would speak to our Earth directly. Dear Earth, it's me, the fairy. You have three wishes to become a better version of yourself. What do you want? And then Mother Earth would say, first, uh, peace, please. Uh, second, stick to the sustainable development goals. And third, free chocolate for everybody. <laughs> I like brains, not for eating, I'm not a zombie. <laughs> They fascinate me, not zombies, brains. <laughs> do you know what brains do when they perceive our complex world? They reduce complexity. Bam, as simple as that. How I envy my brain. I wish I could be like my brain to to filter the overwhelming mass of perceptions without mercy. For example, at home, my three kids create a daily, let's say, complex environment. <laughs> okay, to be honest, it's chaos. <laughs> I come home, the three, ch ch the three children start talking and want to spend time with me but by doing different things all together. So why not simply filter and end, uh, end up with just one child? <laughs> um, what is also typical for our brains, they love to justify that they are great, but in a very convenient way. Brains are vain. Mine is arrogant, and it is uh, fabulous. It's, it's just telling me to tell you that it is fabulous also. <laughs> <laughs> My brain did a very bad performance lately, a miserable presentation at work. So its boss came along, me, and said, hey, you brain, you did a very bad presentation. It didn't meet my expectations. My brain said, It wasn't my fault. You, well, I need to blame someone else. So, uh, according to my brain, the fault was of my colleague who interrupted me while I was preparing everything, the fault of my intern who didn't offer the correspondent graphic design skills to make me a nice and fancy PowerPoint, and so on. Me and my brain, we work in a 
well-known international organizations where we have all kinds of meetings. So my brain quickly analyzes all the colleagues around the table with rigid categories and simple assumptions like white man, 60 years old, ex obviously an expert, we'll listen to his opinion. Next one, good looking junior, white, sneakers, obviously digital native, we'll go for a lunch date with him, vegan of course. Next one, charming, tall woman, long hair, good looking, obviously a psychologist who loves to be in the spotlight. <laughs> the full self of me is wiser than just my brain, so I would say, wait, be patient, don't rush, don't project, observe and look behind the stereotypes. And then new chains of thoughts would arise, like older colleague, uh, maybe bored by his expertise, maybe looking for new transformational ideas, or um, good-looking junior, maybe secretly loves barbecue. <laughs> uh, the attractive psychologist, um, I simply agree with my bra brain that she's perfect. <laughs> So, you see, brains love simple assumptions and stereotypes because it makes their life easier. And this is the big difference between my brain and the whole of me. I hate stereotypes and simple assumptions because they actually make our lives harder. Though, I must confess, stereotypes can be so relieving sometimes, oh my goodness! <laughs> And assumptions, simple assumptions, can be so much fun. <laughs> For example, arguing with my Latin American husband. It's, I'm so happy to just name the problem, like, you are a typical Latino macho man, I'm a strong German feminist, so just keep on fighting. <laughs> or, my bike has a puncture, I'm a lady, fixing things is husband's job, so sorry, darling. <laughs> Or, I have three kids, I'm a head of unit at work. Unbelievable, I must be a superhero. <laughs> Fortunately, I'm not alone with my brain. I'm a total work of art. I count on my good heart and my five keen senses. And I count on my peers with all the different perspectives. They are very diverse perspectives. Everyone is invited to share his or her opinion and um, to create something we call co-creation. Co-creation is like painting a picture together. Don't know if you've ever done that before, where everyone adds their own individual color. So my brain would say, it always ends up in muddy brown. But me, I'm still convinced. It will be like a beautiful rainbow. Thank you and good night. Nicely done. Awesome.